Well, as we do continue our coverage during this National Consumer Protection Week, it's a line that sounds too good be, to be true, and it might be, but if you hear that you're winning this great big prize, you might just listen. A call one of our viewers in Pueblo got recently, and News 5's Patrick Nelson is joining us live this morning with her story and an important war warning. Good morning, Patrick. Good morning, Bree. These sweepstakes scams typically have a few things in common. First of all, they'll reach out to you out of the blue and say you've won a prize or you're close to winning one. And all you have to do is pay some money up front or provide some sensitive information to claim this bogus prize. Now, this is exactly what happened to a woman named Elaine who lives in Pueblo. She was familiar with the publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes and even says she entered at one point. So when someone called telling her she had won more than $3 million, it did get her attention, but they wanted her to pay hundreds of dollars to collect her prize so she began to question the person on the line. Take a listen. He said, my team from Denver will be having to come down and meet you at your home. Well, you'll have to pay $500 to get the check registered. And I said, excuse me, if, I'm, if I won money, why would I have to pay money to get the money I want? Uh, gave badge numbers, gave supposed to be lawyers numbers gave supposed to be managers numbers and I mean even though the accent was um, heavy he sound professional so here's some important things to note the folks at the actual publishers clearinghouse organization say they are well aware of these scams and say their organization will never call or email to let you know you've won plus they will never ask you to pay taxes or any money at all to collect your winnings. And we want to thank Elaine and highlight the actions that she took. She did exactly the right thing. She got information from this scam caller, but she didn't commit to anything. She hung up and immediately called News 5, and we were able, as a team, to vet this and let her know that she had, in fact, been targeted by a scam call. Now we're gonna have much more coming up this morning, including why folks at the Federal Trade Commission say we need to be talking about these things more with our neighbors and loved ones. We're gonna show you exactly how to do that coming up in just a bit. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Patrick Nelson, News 5.